So before we go and level it, the first thing, go into uh, settings, go to advanced settings, uh, level mode, make sure you're on professional mode, not standard mode. Standard mode, I think only has like 33 uh, points of uh, leveling. Professional mode, I think gives you 120. Then you wanna go to input shaper and we're gonna do the x-axis and the y-axis. Uh, this, I guess, adjusts for any vibration or anything that may be in the system. So go ahead and hit x-axis. This thing's gonna do some weird shit. It's gonna make some uh, noises. All right, <clears throat> so that is the input shaper. It's compensated for any vibrations and shit that it might get. So now we actually need to level the thing. So we'll go back to the main menu. We're going to go to level. Can you, I got that on here? Yeah, okay. We'll go to level, confirm uh, the operation trigger return to zero action, whether to continue, confirm. Okay, so now it's gonna zero. Something else you need to check, check the underside of your nozzle. Uh, if there, make sure there's no stuck filament or anything stuck on there, that it's just down to the bare brass. So, focus. okay, here is the screen that you're going to get. We're going to set the Z offset first. To do that, we're going to uh, use just a standard piece of printer paper. Okay, so it slides under the nozzle pretty easy, easy so our Z offset is way too high. So... You've got 0 0.01 millimeter, 0 0.1 millimeter, and 1 millimeter increments. We're going to leave it on the 0 0.01, and we're going to go ahead and lower the print bed, or the print head. And you just keep doing that until you start getting some drag. I can start feeling a little bit of drag. There's a little bit more. When you get it toward you can't push it back in right about where you can still pull it out and there's tension, but it doesn't want to slide back forward when you're pushing on it, you pretty well got your Z offset set. So now that your Z offset is there, what we want to do is we're not going to do auxiliary. We don't care about auxiliary. It's a complete waste of time. Auxiliary, what that's going to do is it's going to go to your individual roller wheels and it's going to tell you, and it's going to set it down and you're going to do this same process with these roller wheels one at a time on auxiliary and you're gonna go through it and through it and through it and through it and it's never going to get it level. The only thing we're gonna do right now is we're gonna hit automatic. We're gonna pull that out because we are no longer gonna need that piece of paper anymore. Confirm. It's gonna warm up the print bed and then it's gonna go through and do its auto calibrate, which means it's gonna go through and it's gonna set down and it's gonna measure this print bed in uh, 120, I think it's 120, well, we'll see in just a second. All right, so. It is heating. It's got to get up to 140 degrees for the nozzle, 60 degrees for the print bed. It has a 121, I don't know if you can read that or not, calibration points. It's going to go through and check. Once, this, once it does that, and it takes, I don't know, about 10 minutes to do the calibration check, then we'll come back and it'll show us what our numbers are. And then we will adjust our rollers accordingly. All right, so it's done its auto calibration. It'll come up to this screen. Pay attention to the distance between the nozzle. You can read. All right, so just hit confirm. Now it's gonna give us all of these numbers right here. Uh, you're gonna have positive numbers, negative numbers. Uh, you're not a lot you can really do with the center, but if you look at our numbers on the center, the back back there is kind of high, but that will also change as we start adjusting the wheels. Uh, 
So we're low here, very high here. Uh, so what you need to do now is go through, there are six adjusting wheels, three on each side, one here, one in the middle, one on the back, middle, back. All right, so you wanna look at the numbers and then your wheels are, if you have, if you need the uh, build plate to go up, you're gonna turn your wheel to the left. That will make the build plate rise up. So if you have a negative number, like over here in the corner, we've got a, uh, a negative 0 0.07. We need to turn that, we need to take that wheel and turn it like that so it goes up. And of course, if you have a positive number, you need to bring it down so you will turn the wheel the other direction to make it go down. So I'm high here, we need to make that go down. So we're just gonna give it about a half a turn. Uh, we're at a 0.44 in the middle. So we're gonna give that probably two good turns. Really high on this back one, we're gonna give it three good turns. We're uh, a little bit low here. So we're going to turn it just a hair. We're gonna bring this one down a little bit and then the one on the very back where is our number okay so we're, we're needing to uh, make that come down so we need to turn the wheel we're going to give it about two and a half turns okay so i've adjusted all of my wheels so now what do you do go back through automatic confirm and it's going to do the same damn process again it's gonna take 10 minutes to run through this, check all 121 points, and then it's gonna come back to that screen again. Check your numbers, adjust the wheels, run the calibration again. Keep doing that over and over and over again until uh, you've gotten relatively close to zero. I'm usually happy if I can get it uh, everything around a 0.15 to a 0.2. I've gotten pretty good prints out of that. So you want it as close to zero as possible. So now I'm gonna let this thing run, and I'm gonna do it again and again and again. Once we're all done with that, uh, we'll come back. I'll show you how to save. Okay, I don't know. Can you, can you read them numbers? See if they're good and focused or not. This is about as close to zero as I've probably gotten. It's about the best leveling job so far I've gotten out of this printer. We are definitely not going to try it again. So once we've gotten to that stage, you'll see up top there is a little uh, disk drive thing for anybody that's uh, probably younger than 35. Uh, it's a little 3.5 3 inch uh, disc that we used to save uh, uh, information on for our computers. Uh, it would haul all of like uh, 20 photos. So you'll click on that, save and restart to apply Z offset and leveling data. Confirm, let it save. This takes a couple of seconds. Screen jumps back to that. Everything is saved. Printer off. Let it completely power down. It is off. Back on, let it reboot. And then we're uh, ready to print. So it's really not that bad of a job to, uh, to do printer maintenance and level one of these Elegoo Neptune uh, bed slingers. Now I only have the Max, so I can't tell you for certain if the, uh, the Neptune 3 Max or the Neptune 3 or the Neptune 4 or the regular ones, if they're the same way, I'm pretty sure they are. But I only know this particular uh, FDM printer. I've got multiple resin printers in there, but they're a completely different story for, for leveling. So I'm ready to print. Uh, hit the, the like and the subscribe and all that other crap, and uh, I'll see you next time.